Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at modern women shocked by men's honesty. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I want a man that's definitely going to be able to pay the bills, like take care of me, but I still want to be able to have the option to work and do like my career, have a career, and still have kids. Okay, so you want it all? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how much money is a man going to need to make to be able to pay all the bills for a family of four? Mm, probably well over 400 k What percentage of men in this country make over $400,000? Um, I would say maybe 2 to 4%, probably not a lot. One. Okay. 1%. So, let's go back to what you said. I feel mm -hmm. men don't care about what you feel. We, we think act and do mm -hmm. then hit the financial street stride between 45 and 55. are you prepared to marry a man that's 45 years old or, or older uh, no so you're a delusional black woman hit them with cold hard facts and they still find a way to act like you're trying to hold them back men if women can't settle you definitely shouldn't either do you have a personality or are you just a bunch of taylor swift lyrics glued together that's assault assault with a deadly weapon known as Taylor Swift against me. To be fair, Taylor Swift's dated so many men, women might actually think she gives credible advice. She's never been able to keep one, though. Maybe keep that in mind, too. I'm watching all this red pill You hear these statistics, right? Gay marriage, two men getting married, divorce rate, 26%. Male-female marriage, 50%. Lesbian woman, to woman marriage, divorce like rate, 76%. Wow. Well, that's what it is, man. You get two crazies together. That's some weird math. I mean, what do you think? Like, if you looked at the math, do you think women are the problem? I mean, I don't know. Are they? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? Uh-oh, they might ruffle some feathers with these statistics. Did you get a chance to meet with the royal family? And if not, how was it like having them there in the building? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? <laughs> the Prince and Princess of Wales. Oh, no, I did not. I'm only familiar with one royal family. I don't know too much about that one. Thank you. The only people who would keep up with the lives of the rich and famous, making them even richer and more famous, are women with too much time on their hands. Men would rather work on getting there themselves. When women go on a date with a man, who do they prefer make the majority of the leading decisions during that date? The man. The man. Definitely. Definitely. If you ask me on the date, you should have plan. that shit planned out. Yeah. Tell me you're going to pick me up at seven. Don't ask me what, what I want to do. Tell me what you want to do. Yeah. So in a society where the majority of women prefer to have a man in a leadership role and make most of the decisions, is it any wonder why most leadership roles are held by men? Definitely a wonder. Ah. I honestly think that's kind of like a gender role thing too. Like I feel like that's been a huge thing. Men get places a little bit easier than women. So when women get there, they work harder to stay. But I mean, is it fair to say that maybe a lot of reasons why, you know, men are kind of in leadership roles is because women want it that want way. Want it that way. So do they have the right to complain about it if that's their preference? Probably not. That was the look of a woman who knows they've been caught. Really got them stuttering, too. It's funny that men are often judged off of height, fitness, and income. But if women were judged by the same standards, most of them would be considered failures. Yeah, and that's because they want someone to love them in every shape and form, even if it's a broke, unemployed circle that doesn't get off the couch. You look back at some of your old lyrics, given the climate of what's happening today with women's empowerment, and be like, damn, that was kind of... That I nope, that. nope, hell no, that was me. I love every mother and f house. Man, Straight stop, up. man. <laughs> oh, come on, don't try to call out Snoop Dogg and make him apologize for calling out women in his lyrics. We all know she would call a woman calling out men empowering. The girl's ghosting, this is what I do. I, <laughs> I wait a while, you know, I just let it marinate like a few months, just really make sure I'm getting ghosted. And then I'll send this text, I'll go, hey, I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert. That's right. I have an extra ticket if you're available. I don't know, let me know. Then they become alive suddenly. They come out of the woodwork and they're like, oh, oh, oh hey, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I have a slam with work and everything, but I looked at my schedule, my calendar, I, I'm free that day. I would love to go. And then I don't respond. <laughs> and, then I go, <laughs> and then I go, you don't ghost me, I ghost you! <laughs> Are you the 
ghost egg. Fully convinced at this point that women just don't see men as companions anymore. They just use them till they can't offer anything more before moving on to the next. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, you know? That league would be doing better numbers than the NBA. They have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a f***ing league. None of you showed up. Where are all the feminists? None of you, none of you went to the f***ing games. None of you, you all, you failed them. Not me, not men. Women failed the WNBA. Ladies, ladies, name your top five all-time WNBA players of all time. Come on. That's it. Name five WNBA teams. Name the WNBA team in your f***ing city. You can't do it. You don't give a f about them. They play night in and night out in front of nobody. It's a f***ing tragedy. Right? And then meanwhile, you look at the Kardashians, they're making billions. You know those Real Housewife shows? They're making money hand over fist because that's what women are watching. And the money listens. You don't want to watch this sh you watch this sh They just shoot it over there, drowning these cars in money. In purses and shoes and Botox. It's just raining. The WNBA is the best example of women wanting equality and then failing to show up for the woman they protested for. Why do all girls think that they're fat except for the fat ones? Probably because they're the demographic being fed the you're beautiful just the way you are mantras on social media. You know what I realized with us women? And I think that I was like this at one point in time too. We equate our value to how many men want to sleep with us, how many men are in our DMs, and how many proposals we got. Not marriages, proposals. But here's the thing, if all these guys want us and we want none of those guys, then we have no options. And I think that be a that's like a hard pill for us to swallow like we don't want to admit that but we know deep down inside like we go to our message message requests or our dms or our text messages and it's just full of guys that want to sleep with us or you know talk about our bodies we realize like damn we ain't got no options because really you only consider the guys options that act that you actually want am i right or am i right That's true, women get all high and mighty because some simp told them they're pretty. And next thing they know, they're past their prime and still talking about those DMs like they mean something. Babe? Yeah? Why do guys come on strong but then after a few dates fizzle out? You're no longer a fantasy. They've actually met you, they have a reference for you, and they're just not that interested. Not to mention, they quite often just stop putting in effort as soon as they get with the guy. First of all, women be out here creating super in their mind. They don't even be looking at the nigga in front of them. That's the difference between men and women. We see who here. Right. Women down here think it's a unicorn with long dick, a lot of money, and a weekend house, and this nigga poetry, and he's a draw, and he's a thug, and he can fight, and lift weights, and do these poor you crazy. All that talk about men setting unrealistic standards, yet it's the women who want men who are all around tens, over six foot, and making 400,000 a year. Yeah, but wanting someone who's 120 pounds is where you're the bad guy. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice Myra. to meet you. You gonna give me a hug or what? Oh no, that's lame. That's the traditional way. Yeah, that's lame. No, it's not. Very it's respectful. Lame. No, lame. No? Lame. Oh. Lame. Well, you can just sit down then. Well, you can stand up. You could just sit down. I'm gonna walk out there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Air hugs. Uh, she didn't want to stand up. Typical feminist. I mean, you can, you, you know, it is what it is. You gotta play the game, guys. This is how women are nowadays. You know, they wanna sit there and think, oh no, I'm not gonna stand up. And it's like, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna demolish you in this debate. Any woman who shows up in a pretty dress thinks it's their God given right for a man to start simping. No, it's really not. When should a man start making 100K? 
I say at the ripe age of 18, you are out of your household, and if you have a girlfriend at the time, you should provide for your woman. I am a firm believer in that women should not work and that women's rights suck, um, so that men should provide for women and I should not work my life, ever. I'm gonna say the opposite. I think realistically, a man should make 100K around like 27. I feel like that's a good age. 27 to 33, 35. Well, let's backpedal a little bit. Because what you said was kind of crazy. Yeah. You don't think that's delusional at all? I, I have my Delulu moments, but also I do not want to work. So a man should make 100K by the time that I'm dating him, so I don't have to work so ever. Has the past guys that you've dated made 100K? The past guys that I have dated have been two inches shorter than me and have zero dollars in their bank account. But now I am aiming high. Now I'm aiming high and I have a boyfriend who um, has drive and motivation and can supply for himself and myself. I bet even right now she had to ask her parents to pay her phone bills. You know what, yeah. I have a list and you can tell me if any of these names ring a bell. So these are all men who have had divorces initiated against them. Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Dr. Dre, Ryan Reynolds, Tom Brady, Lance Armstrong, Alex Rodriguez, Channing Tatum, Chris Rock, Ben Affleck, Chris Pratt, Liam Hensworth, Ben Stiller, David Duchovny, Orlando Bloom, Tiger Woods, Sean Penn, Sylvester Stallone, Paul McCartney, Ryan Felipe, Jason Momoa, Michael Jordan. These are all very attractive men, high status men, wealthy, and even they can't keep a chick. So, me as like, I consider myself like kind of a normal dude. I think, bro, if Brad Pitt can't keep a chick, I'm f***ed. This just tells me that even when a man checks all their insane boxes, women would still find a way to complain and leave him hanging. So, why is it that men feel threatened when a female has a lot of male friends that are just friends that we don't they sleep they with? They could f*** you. <laughs> they could and men don't like that. They, men know that men will play the long game. Yeah, you know? I was just they'll, about to say They'll that. be your the bestie, yeah. but they're waiting for that yeah. So they can be like, come over, lay on my talk about it. <laughs> what do that do here? Because they will pillow talk about another to you quick. Hey, listen, hey, them friends be giving the best therapeutic These will give you a relationship advice after you down. Like, yeah, you and your worked out. I really swinging and everything. <laughs> You got a male best friend, right? Just yeah. say yes or no. And do. Do you know how big his I is? I sure do. That's what the I'm talking about. That's what the I'm talking about. The friend zone is basically the zone women look into when they're having trouble with their man. If you were taking her on a date right now, where would you take her? I would ask her, what do you like to do for fun? I like to eat. That's it? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Then there's a bunch of places you could go. So what's your what? budget? Because I rack up a bill, I'm not going to lie. First of all, I, I would wonder why she's racking up a bill. <laughs> that, that's the first thing I'm wondering. Well, drinks are expensive. No, Drink, I, two I drinks, $15. Because, like, look, you got your money. If you go out with her, you're not gonna do. you're not going to rack up a bill and expect her to pay it, no? All that talk about equality, yet she thought a man she'd met on the first date would be the one footing the whole bill. My man's got a point. Maybe don't rack up a bill when you're broke. Yeah, we got divorced, but he I'm still living with him. And so I we, don't care. That could be just for whatever reason, convenience or whatever. Men do stuff like that. Are you a counselor or a lawyer? What are you? I'm a man that a whole lot of women want. <laughs> I'm very wise. Women can live without a man. A man needs a woman. Say nothing. Are you living without a man right now, or are you living in another man's house who's paying the bills? He pays a lot of the bills. Yes. No, no, no. Okay, what are you talking? What are you okay. saying? So, so you just said women can live without a man, but you right now are not living without a man. Well, he's in the hospital. You're living in his house still, meaning that you can't live and afford your own rent. No, I can't. That's Thank not you. Right. Thank you. And you know why? So you Look. need you. You you see, this is how ignorant y'all are. Y'all tell other women advice that y'all can't even do yourself. I don't tell anybody advice. You just no said women can live without a man. S and you yourself can. can't even live without a man right now. Surely thought she could just string some words into a sentence and think about logic later. And by the way, 85% of cheaters are men.
That's a bold statement, seeing as 90% of the men on The Maury Show are not the father. <laughs> I'm just saying. The real statistic is that 85% of men know their worth and know when to leave a situation when they're not being treated with respect. You may not like to hear this, but people with a higher IQ, they tend to stay single for a lot longer. Because they understand that having an empty space in their bed is a hell of a lot better than waking up next to the wrong person. I second this. Men would rather have the right woman than just any woman. Women will say all kinds of stuff that's completely disconnected from reality. For example, a woman will say, I want a man that's vulnerable, that just opens up to me. The second a man unburdens himself on a woman, she loses respect and attraction for him. Or a woman will say, No, all I want is a nice guy. I want a guy that just treats me like a princess and takes care of me and is a really good guy. The second they get the nice guy, they drop him for the dirt bag. Or you'll hear women say, Baby, are you okay? I'm fine. Trust her when she says you're wrong. <laughs> like, she's not fine. You have to trust what she's doing. What is transpiring with her body language? Too many guys take women at face value. A woman will say, I want this, or this is how I feel, and then they will operate on that because that's how we are as guys. We use our words to communicate, not our emotions. If you want to have an effective relationship with a woman, as a man, you have to learn this. This is vital that you learn. Never trust what a woman says, trust what she does. If what she says aligns with what she does, then you can trust what she says. But if that is not happening, you always follow the body language. You gotta recognize that women are going to communicate with their emotions and men are gonna communicate with their words. You can take a man at his word because he's gonna say what he actually thinks and feels most of the time. You take a woman at her emotions, which means you watch what she does because her emotions will dictate how she acts 100% of the time. Yeah, so in conclusion, women want a man who will read their minds and bend over backwards for them. How about we bring that same energy to the table when it comes to treating men better too? A dude flipping hamburgers can't keep a modern woman. The top 50 richest men in the world can't keep a modern woman. What makes you think that you can, sir? Get them? Sure, that's the easy part. Keep them? That's the hard part. Their unrealistic standard has gotten to the point that instead of millionaires, they want billionaires. And instead of someone over six foot, they're now looking for someone seven foot and over? Come on. You know, white women have a lot of privileges in this country, right? <laughs> like, if you have a white wife and she goes nuts on you at your house and you call the cops on her, you go to jail. <laughs> Pretty sure my man over here wasn't even trying to be funny. He was just stating facts. I don't make decisions based on my feeling. I didn't even get married because it was a feeling. I told, I said, because I asked my kids, why do you think I married your mom? Because you love her. Nah. That's what the married. movies are telling you. Yeah. <laughs> nah, let's sit down and talk about this. I, I married a woman. I was very conscious of marrying a black woman. I was very conscious of marrying a woman who operates in a certain manner. Uh, who carries herself around in public a certain way, who carries herself in privately a certain way, who handles challenges a certain way, that made her qualified to be my wife. Yeah, her being beautiful and, and, and being smart, okay, that, and let's keep it a book. I'm a hooper. I'm a hooper with a college scholarship who played pro. Baddies come dime a dozen, broski. I, I done seen them all. I've been in 30 countries, right? That I don't mean that you could be my wife. You got to have a a whole separate so i wanted them to really understand bro when proverbs says when you when a man first got to be a man about your father's business finds a wife not get married you're not a wife because you got married you're a wife because you embody a character bro you just become my spouse when we get married we become one but your character tells me whether you're a wife or whether you, you know what I'm saying whether you're something else Beauty may attract, but character is where it's at. A woman's character and emotional intelligence is more important than anything else for a long-lasting relationship. Men don't care about women's money. We don't care about women's competence. We don't care about women's height. We don't care about all the things that you care about in a man. Attraction isn't symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So you became the man that you want. So all these other guys that you're meeting, they don't qualify for you. But the only guy that did meet your standards, guess what? You didn't qualify for him. I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on my size you just caught him short we don't want a woman that's only gonna base us based off our height i'm six yeah. foot four he's five eight. i didn't judge his character but okay but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you the same way he doesn't qualify for you with your figure a lot of guys you won't qualify for give me a second oh no he's just 
I was never speaking down on you. I was speaking to the queen in you. All human beings, we got the fool in us or the king or the queen in us. Like the man, he has a fool in him, but he also has a king in him. And that woman should always speak to the king in him. A woman has a fool in her, but she also has a queen in her. Me speaking to the fool in you would have been you just as good as you are. Those guys are the problem. But I spoke to the queen in you. You could do much better than where you are now. But in this world, it's socially unacceptable for men to speak to the queen and a woman. If we speak in a truth to a woman, it's looked at. You're being negative. You're speaking down yeah. on me. You're shaming. Okay, so when she's the one getting rejected, she starts playing the victim. But when she's doing the rejecting, she's empowering herself. Yet men are the problem here. How old is that? Oh. You should go there for her. Ain't no trick. Let me see the balloon. <laughs> I'm scared. What's going on? You know, don't you ever disrespect a real live player like that, cake ass? Why you pop the balloon? Don't disrespect no real live player. I don't do fat, funky, cheesy, chunky, cake ass. I don't fuck with bitches that's a ham sandwich away from a heart attack. Bye, cake Mr. Ass. Clean. Bye. Bye. Fuck out of here. Ooh, though he didn't. Smelling old as shit. <laughs> Y'all smell it? <laughs> The comments on here were absolutely wild and I don't think anybody was ready for that insult. Did you know that 70% of women that come to DT Riverside are single moms? No, I had no idea. <laughs> With that being said, how many kids do you have? I don't have kids. You have any kids? I don't have any kids. <laughs> what about you? I have two. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that information from? Uh, there's a, a professor by the name of Duran Ward at UC Riverside that conducted this study. It was a study that was done over the course of 12 years of going out to both Riverside and Redlands. Oh, okay. Kind of a high number, right? Yeah, that's what? pretty high. You can tell that the first woman denied having kids just to prove the man wrong. Keep lying. The facts won't change. Ah, uh, this is what you're made for. Good job. You want to know what you're made for? What? Nothing. You're absolutely useless. Another case of a woman shocked by a man's brutal honesty. But if he's the provider and pays the bills, do you really think it's wrong? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.